everybody, this is American Strong here. I'm doing a review on my Mossberg MVP rifle. This is a 5.56 model. It has a bench rest stock on it, as you can see. I bought this rifle about a year ago. It was a big impulse buy. I was at a gun show and I was looking at a lot of Mini 14s. And um, I thought that this would be a good tactical rifle along as a good varmint rifle for hunting groundhogs, which you know me and Born to Kill do a lot over the summer. Um, so the thing that caught my eye about this rifle was it did fit um, 30 round magazines in it and it shot 55 grain bullets, 5.56 and it also shoots uh, 223. You can get a lot of uh, good military um, uh, surplus ammunition for this rifle, cheap, and so it's a good rifle to shoot um, on a budget. So I'm going to get into some of the specs of the rifle here. As I said, it shoots 5.56 and it shoots 223. Uh, it comes with a 10 round magazine. It also comes with a 4 to 16 power scope and a bipod. I would suggest that you throw out the scope right when you buy it. The scope is a piece of shit and the bipod isn't very good either. So um, this rifle has a 24 inch um, medium bull barrel. It also comes threaded so you can put a suppressor on it which is pretty cool. Um, it's a 1 in 9 twist and the length of pull is 13.25 inches. Uh, the, it has a laminated stock so this actually isn't you know any type of wood, it's just laminate which is nice because you can get it scratched up and it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I also saw online that there's a lot of replacement stocks for this. One of the, uh, a couple of things that I really liked about this rifle when I first picked it up, it was really ergonomic, very comfortable to shoot. You can really, you know, get a good cheek well on here and you can, uh, it's just really nice. The rifle is a bit heavy, it weighs in there at 9 and almost 9.5 and pounds. Um, the, the, this rifle when it hit the market is pretty uh, revolutionary because like I said before it fits the 30 round magazines. And um, it comes with a rail on the top, like I said before it came with the scope. It has a fluted barrel and also has a fluted bolt, which is supposed to take weight off, but it really is more of like a cool looking factor because you're not really taking off much weight from fluting the bolt or the barrel. Um, so I'm going to go over some of my dislikes with the rifle first before I go into the pros. So sometimes the bolt actually doesn't pick up the round, which I've had a lot of problems with that shooting it. Um, also, the bolt has a lot of play in it, which I don't like. That makes the rifle not seem very sturdy. Um, when the magazine is full, even the 10 round magazine that comes with the rifle, sometimes you really have to jam the bolt home, which doesn't feel very nice when you need to really slam that bolt forward. It makes the rifle not very uh, fun to shoot. Uh, I've had a few times where the firing pin, actually uh, I would pull the trigger and the it wouldn't even strike the primer on the bullet and I've had to pull the trigger five or six times. You know how you can push the bolt forward and pull the trigger, sometimes I've had to do that three or four times before the round actually fired. And so I wanted to investigate what the problem was so I dropped the magazine out and I pulled the round out and I figured out that the rifle uh, firing pin actually wasn't even striking the primer which is uh, a huge downside to this rifle. Also, you can come in a little bit closer too. Also, uh, this bolt right in here, this uh, right here on the rifle, this has come loose many times. I've had to tighten it probably five or six times since I've gotten it. Um, the scope, the, the rail on the top also is loose right now as you can see. That's come loose too. And uh, that's just some problems that I've had with the rifle. I've needed to tighten up a lot of the things uh, more times than you should have to with a rifle that you're paying this much money for. So I'm going to go into the price. Uh, they have it online on the website, on the Mossberg website for $995. Which is not what I paid for it. I probably I paid around uh, 735. That's what I yeah. That's what I paid for it. And for this rifle, I think that's way overpriced. I think they're definitely overcharging for for this rifle. And uh, if you get the 
the stocks that aren't bench rest, it's a lot cheaper, but still, uh, you're, you're paying way too much for it. Uh, so I'm going to go into some of the pros about the rifle. Uh, the rifle is super accurate, way more accurate than I thought it would be. Um, when I was firing this rifle, I could shoot really tight groups, and we're going to roll in some shooting footage right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it has low recoil with the 223 and 556, which you can see your impacts when you're shooting. Especially, that's good for varmint hunting because you can adjust off that shot if you don't hit on the first time. The other thing is you can load uh, AR-15 magazines into it. Now, one of the problems, getting back to some of the cons with the AR-15 mags, is uh, yeah, it's really cool that you can lo load an AR-15 magazine in, but. Uh, you're not going to be laying prone and shooting that because it's going to sit about this high off of the ground. So you're going to need to find something that you can either sit the front of the rifle on while you're shooting or uh, you know anything like that. So unless you're shooting from the bench, if you actually take this thing hunting, it's not very um, practical to uh, put an AR-15 magazine in from my own experience. So uh, going over the pros. Uh, it also has a great trigger, and it's an adjustable trigger, so the trigger is just really smooth and crisp, and it's really light. It has uh, the, Accu, uh, the Accu trigger. It's not it's something different, but it has the trigger that uh, a lot of Savage rifles have, which is what I'm used to shooting, so it was really nice having that on here. Um, yeah, so another pro is the uh, stock. Like I was talking about before, it's very ergonomic. It's really comfortable to shoot. You can get really tight groupings. You can really get your uh, self centered around this rifle, which is nice. The length of pull is perfect. It can just how you're sitting on it is really great to shoot tight groupings. Uh, so, overall, uh, my review of this rifle, my honest thoughts for this rifle overall is I'm not very impressed. For the amount of hype that was put out for this rifle, I feel like it didn't deliver. Um, it's very accurate, which is good, but with all like the tightening of the stock that I've had to do, and with uh, the rings coming, uh, with the mount actually coming loose, the rail on the top, uh, it just hasn't been very good. And with a lot of, with what you're competing with on that price point, for $735, you could get a way better varmint rifle than this one. That doesn't mean I'm going to sell this rifle. I'll probably use it for this season still, just because I've already invested the money into it. But um, I would say that you could definitely do better than this rifle, just from my own personal experience with it. Now, I, like I said before, I took off the scope that was on it and I put uh, this Redfield scope on instead. This is a uh, 4 to 12. And uh, that seems to work really well on it. So, um, yeah, my. Uh, my rating on this rifle would probably be a 4 out of 10, and uh, that's just my opinion on it. You know, I think that the cons definitely outweigh the pros, and that's just my honest review. So, this is American Strong. Hopefully, I can help you decide on if you want to purchase this rifle or not. And uh, leave a comment below, like, and subscribe to our channel if you want more gun reviews like this one. And uh, thank you for watching.